Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's one o'clock on Wednesday the 6th of July. Now today I'm heading off on a path that I've been on before and as usual my task is to revisit some old compositions and find some new ones. So if you want to join me and travel with me, then that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, first stop of the afternoon is the Linton Church. Now it's a pretty little church. I always seem to strike it with it being backlit. So I tried a slightly different composition this time to compensate with it. The other thing that I'm wanting to make a fair bit of today is because we've got quite harsh lighting conditions is to make sure I well and truly underexpose to get the clouds right. So that's the first task I've done. Image number one in the can. Thank you. The second image is one I've photographed a number of times and not usually in favourable light. But this time there's some real changes. I usually struggle to get close enough to the subject because of the blackberry. But there's obviously been a change because the blackberry's gone and so have a couple of the cars. But there's a new car parked there. I'm in Tokamaru now and just taking a couple of photos of a couple of buildings. And now I'm about to head off to Shannon. Now one of the things I'm going to do in this video is compare photographs I've taken on other trips with the photos that I've taken this time and you can make the call whether I've done better or worse. Thank you. Well I'm in Shannon now and Shannon's got quite a few buildings which are quite interesting. Uh, the main feature is a huge BNZ building which has been closed now as far as the BNZ is concerned for a number of years. For a while there were second hand shops in there but um, they have well and truly gone. So that and a post office and a historic railway station it's quite an interesting little place. Thank you. I'm at Motua now and I'm standing in front of the Motua floodway which is probably the most significant piece of engineering in Motua. It diverts the Manawatu River down a 10 kilometre channel to Foxton which is where I'm off to next. Thank you.
I'm here in Foxton now and behind me is the Demolin windmill. I'll just over it up a wee bit so you can see the sails. Um, Foxton has an interesting mix of Maori and Dutch history. Um, it was originally one of the coastal ports and the main place that people arrived in the Manawatu until the railway came through. And when the railway came through, that was kind of the nail in the coffin for Foxton because it didn't come to Foxton. It went up through Shannon and on to Palmerston North. It did go through here for a while. It um, went to Hamatangi and then up to Palmerston North that way. But, so this is historic Foxton. It's probably one of the earliest places settled in the Manawatu and it's quite pretty. It includes an old VNZ uh, building which is easily the flashest one that I've seen. Thank you. Well, having arrived in Foxton, uh, I was quite pleased at the level that the light was hitting the buildings. The main thing was to use the low light of the sun in the late afternoon to create brightness in the buildings, and that tended to match the brightness in the sky, which in turn with correct metering created more interesting skies with good clouds in them. The other factor to take uh, cognizance of is just the nature of the image itself. Following that, I moved to Himitangi Block Road where there's a group of native trees or native yeah native scrub that are quite interesting in the low light and the good thing about wintertime light is the angle's low enough quite reasonably early in the afternoon so i've put up a mix of the ones i took last year and those i took this year and just put them up there and put uh, an indication of when I took them in, in as a note. Now, this is a fairly long video and it's time to wrap it up. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe to the channel. There's new content coming all the time and I'd 
loved you to be able to get access to it. If you've enjoyed the content, please like the content by pressing the thumbs up button. If you want to give me some feedback, do so on the comments page uh, on the YouTube page where this video was embedded. Thank you very, very much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.